Do you ever, um... Oh, you know what upsets me, too, is, like, I was walking down the street, and these gangster guys were coming. They were, like, gang members and crips and stuff. So I bumped into one of them, and he's like, he's like, yo, what's up, son? You bumped into me. I'm gonna fuck you up. So, and he's like, I'll fuck you up, white boy. And what upset me is that they were white kids. So... so So he goes, why don't you say, oh, excuse me, son. <laughs> so I, I carry a gun in case somebody hurts my feelings, you know? <laughs> so I put the gun to his head and, and, and I, I said, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> and, and you know what he said? He said, it's all good, dog. Which made me even more angry because that's false information. Because there's a gun pointed at your head. It's not, it's like all bad, really. <laughs> It's kind of all bad up in this motherfucker, you know what I mean? So I said, I'm gonna shoot you unless you can spell or excuse me. <laughs> he didn't make it. <laughs> After I shot him, no, I was like, my bad, dog. <laughs> my bad. That shit is real, son. <laughs> You know, Obama's in office now, and it was kind of fun. When I, I voted, well, I didn't vote because I have felonies, but I rooted. <laughs> I rooted for Obama. And most New Yorkers did, I think, in a general sense. White, black, it didn't really matter. We were all like, let's have it. I just wanted a different, I like change. I love change. I hate when things are the same. I change my set every night. I can't stay in a same, you know what I mean? It drives me nuts. So I like change, so I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. You know, we're gonna wake up tomorrow and we're gonna see like a bunch of white businessmen with their children all dressed in suits, mowing a lawn. And there's gonna be a Mexican family sitting on a porch drinking lemonade saying, you missed the spot, S.A. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted to see. See a couple of black policemen beating up a white dude for no reason. I just thought shit was gonna change, you know? I figured Obama would get in there and round up all those little white kids from the suburbs who think they're raging against the cul-de-sac and being held down by the condo association. I wanted to see Obama gather them all up and let black families own one of them. Reparations. Go get me a grape soda, crack a ass. He's right, I'd, uh, black folks just love my shit. Yeah, I think it's, black people don't have a filter in their brain that says, don't laugh, they don't have that. It's white guilt is what it is. It's like, oh my God, no, I can't laugh because black people are involved in the story. But black people are like, yeah, fuck it, man. I want to own me a little white kid. Yeah. You guys feel guilty? You don't look like it. Yeah. yeah, and the white people that feel guilt are the wrong white people. They're the innocent people, right? How many people in here really feel like you did something wrong to a whole... Ri I was so high, I couldn't hold down lunch, let alone a brother. You know what I'm saying? So I hear a black man say, I'm tired of the white man. Me too, where is he? Let's get him. Kill whitey, kill whitey. Did you see Obama and Michelle dancing on the inauguration? How many people noticed that they were holding back? Right? They were kind of, they were like, Michelle was ready to start with the booty shaking thing. And Obama was like, no, honey, it's our first night. Keep it, keep, keep it down. You know what I mean? Let's ease them into this. Like, you guys are a tender bunch. Please. I don't like to, like one night a C word came up to me after a show. <laughs> and she said, I hate that word. I said, well, you probably hear it an awful lot. 
So then she said, Crane, this is a new one I think you'll like. See, I'll stop the whole show for one friend because he's important to me. Here's a new one, ready? So she said, would you call a black person the N-word? And I thought about it for a minute and I said, if I had a lot of money on the game. <laughs> What's up, son? Black people, black, black. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's all boo the white people together. Boo! <laughs> Fucking scared, cracker ass, crackers. <laughs> Oh, don't, listen, oh yeah, here's a new thing too. If you're in New York and you're not black or white, you are Puerto Rican. Yeah. I don't know what you're laughing at, que pasa, motherfucker? Yeah, the Indian people, no, I'm from India, not anymore. When you're in New York, you're goddamn Puerto Rican. There's too many different brands of Spanish and we cannot keep up with all of you. You ever say to somebody, are you Puerto Rican? Nah, I'm Nicaraguan. Well, gee, I'm not a fucking anthropologist. Fuck you, you know what I mean? <laughs> they got these little Guatemalans. The host is Guatemalan. They're like little dwarf Ricans, right? They're so cute. They look like little brown Pokemon, don't they? <laughs> All right. Hey, have a nice night, everyone. Bye-bye.